Hello, it's uh, Stephen Hayes here from the Orchard on the um, 19th of June. It's been a bit overcast, it's just turned out to be a very sunny day. I worked here this morning and then I went out to the uh, Durley um, local fete and bought a couple of books and uh, something other, other odds and ends. Anyway, I'm just back at the Orchard. The main job I'm doing at the moment is um, mainly fruit thinning but also some summer pruning. The jobs sort of merge into each other a little bit. I don't want to go on about that at length but just uh, because there's been such a lot of interest in grafting, I just want to do a quick follow-up on a couple of the grafts, not all the grafts I've done. Um, this here is um, a tree that I grafted over to a variety that came, a, a friend kindly gave me some through the post. Note this um, variety, Mrs. Fillimore. I remember reading about this variety, it's supposed to have a very strong uh, flavour, you know, very spicy, interesting flavour. Anyway, what I did was uh, ignore the uh, grass down here. I had a tree which was growing here, and um, I uh, cut it back to, until it had three main leaders, and then I grafted onto it. I don't think you can see where that is. I'm just going around it, and you can see in a moment what I'm doing. Okay, right, so now I'm going to home in and show you what I did. Can you see there? There's some tape around there, and there's some tape there, and there's some tape there. Okay, so that is where I did three saddle grafts, and I'm very glad to say, and I do show my failures as well as my successes, I'm very glad to say that three out of three have taken. Now, this is just a little bit of um, care which this sort of uh, tree requires, this sort of graft requires. Okay, now here's some, this is coming away from the rootstock and so is that. So I'm just snicking that clean out. Uh, note uh, that the blade side of the secateurs is next to the tree because if you do it the other way around, if I did it like this, then I'd end up cutting, um, uh, not, not flush, but anyway basic secretary use. So I'm just going down here, I'm taking out everything that's coming from the rootstock because I don't need the rootstock here, I need the, uh, the Mrs. Fillimore. I've never tasted this variety, I read about it and a friend kindly offered to send me some wood through the post, which I uh, grafted I did three um, saddle grafts in um, early April. See what's going on now. I've cut all of that wood out. Let's go in here. Oh, this is why I use this new material that a kind friend sent me through the post. This um, uh, photo tape. Now, it seems to have done alright, but it, it splits and dissolves by itself. Maybe it's not a bad thing. You can see, I think, where the saddle graft took. Going up through the centre here is a long tapering, sharp bit. Either side, you can see the new lively wood growing away. Um, so that's taken. This one obviously is taken as well. This was done with ordinary polythene that's uh, still very much there. And you can see, I think, the pencil of wood from obviously from here to here. You can see that's the the point at the end where it was cut off. And though I say it myself, as the Apostle Paul wrote, uh, I wart, I, I sowed, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. Uh, I mean, yeah, a friend of mine sent me the uh, the wood through the post. I grafted it, but God has given the growth and. Uh, I think you can see that's growing away very nice and lively. So it looks very much as though I will have a tree of Mrs. Fillimore uh, due to um, receiving some scion wood and grafting it and the grafts having thankfully taken and grown away quite nicely. Just uh, quickly I want to show you one other thing. This is a tree I put a video up about earlier. 
This was one that was growing at a sort of funny angle. I had to make a harsh decision, decide what to do. I decided to be very aggressive and cut it all away, apart from one single upright growth. And it's doing all right. I'm a little bit anxious about it, because if you look down here, this actually looks a bit of a mess. This was, this is, <laughs> some moth just flew out of there, look. There's a moth hiding in that. <laughs> there was a moth hiding in that little hole. Anyway, off he flew. Um, if you can see the daylight coming through there. Um, this is pretty untidy. This is not looking great. What I think I'm going to need to do is to come back here with some very sharp instruments and some uh, wax and um, sli uh, carefully slice this away and fill the whole thing up with wax. Um, this was a double cleft graph, one half of which grew away well, the other one didn't. Uh, there was some wood growing down there, I saw that away. Anyhow, it's growing in a pretty lively manner. This is the growth that it's made. So it's grown a good foot. I'm hopeful that's going to be okay. I'm a bit concerned about that um, funny joint down there. It's a bit of a mess really. Uh, what I think I need to do, say, with some very careful instruments, so sharp tools, working very slowly, I need to slice this stuff out and um, pack the whole thing with wax. Uh, but this join, anyway, is lively. You can tell from the growth. As they say somewhere, the only evidence of uh, life is growth. Uh, whether that's true or not, this in any event is growing quite well. So I think I'm in the right judgment call there, um, although it's not looking as good as it might do. A lot of the other trees I grafted are looking really pretty good and I'm quite content. I've had some failures, I've had some successes. Uh, the principles remain true, uh, even if it doesn't always work out.